Assalamu alaikum. This is Muhammad Ramiz and you are watching Flutter Flow and see talk about permissions. So what are permissions uh, in Flutter Flow? Okay. So it is ethically good to ask for a permission before using any service. So <coughs> permissions is only used because we want to ethically ask for a user before using any service uh, of his uh, app, uh, mo mobile device. Okay. So let's suppose if you want to use a camera, so it's better to ask for a permission for the user before using the camera you can ask permission and if the user say allow so you can then access their camera and capture the image obviously the images are also captured by the user itself but it's better uh, to use permissions and there isn't any uh, other reason to use permissions this is the only reason because it's ethically good to ask for permission be before using any service within the mobile device if we are showing anything into the application then it's good but if we want to give an access of the user's device then we need to ask for permissions first okay so let's suppose you have uh, biometrics so if you want to use biometrics so you can also ask for uh, permission of biometric fin fingerprint similarly if you want to access a calendar let's suppose you are creating an application which uh, schedule the meetings so you need to access google calendar in that way or even a calendar of your own uh, mobile so you can send uh, you can send an invite into the calendar okay so for that reason you need to enable calendar just like the same if you want to capture an image you need to give an access of a camera so at that point we know that uh, if we want to do a certain thing or certain operation which uh, which is uh, not linked with our application and we want to get a help from an external source so we need to ask permission first no matters if it's our mobile uh, hard hardware or it's our software hardware means a camera and software means a gallery okay so you need to add a permission first then you can uh, give an you can ask an access uh, you can ask an access first and then you can capture start capturing the image okay so that's a better ap approach to give an alert to a user that okay uh, i am asking for uh, verification first i'm asking for permission first of your camera and if you give me a permission of camera then you will be able to capture your image okay so let's suppose we want to add a camera so i'm going to enable that feature and you can see that it's now uh, turned white and we can simply add it here that uh, allow camera to capture your image images okay allow camera to capture your images so that is very simple to give and give a permission and to ask for a permission and uh, sort of flow gives a uh, permission message uh, by their self you just need to uh, add an action uh, where you want to show this permission okay so permission message is automatically created by Flutterflow. okay so yeah let's suppose i'm gonna add permission of camera and i want to add permission of contacts okay so let's suppose i want I, i'm creating a banking application and in the banking application if a person do their do purchase their bundles so so, so in that way uh, we can simply select their contact and uh, we can we can scroll their contacts into that application and user can simply select the contact and purchase the bundle or top of their mobile so for that reason we can also uh, use contact permission so we can say that allow contact to purchase or we can say uh, to see your contact allow contacts to see your contact list okay so let's suppose we have we have created two permissions that's all and we can also create one more permission which is location so allow location to track yourself okay so yeah now it's done so how we can ask for permission uh, to the user uh, side uh, so if you want to ask for a permission so how can you do this thing so let's suppose uh, we can create a new page of permissions and we can say that permissions permission and create a page and the name of that page would be permissions okay so let's suppose this is our page and in this page we want to ask a permission for a camera okay so i'm gonna only uh, add a permission for a camera how this things works basically okay so what can we do 
we can simply add a button insert widget uh, but the thing is that the database is not right now the database is not attached with our system so that image will not be not gonna upload but that totally fine we are uh, we only want to uh, see the permissions message so let's suppose i'm gonna add a button and uh, we can simply make it center and this would also be centered and i'm gonna say capture image capture image okay so this is basically a uh, button uh, and within that button i'm gonna add an action to first ask permission if the user permission is allowed then you need to capture the image otherwise you can show uh, a message or a permission message okay so let's see so but remember i am in a um, uh, emulator or i'm in a test mode so that's why i'll not be able to open my camera if you want to open your camera so you need to go to your uh, emulator or physical device so let's open this thing and on tab and add action and here you can simply search request because it's request permission so you can see that it's request permission and you uh, which permission you want so i want a camera permission so all of these services uh, comes from a permission panel which where we have enabled these three permissions okay so camera camera and now we are going to add conditionality and uh, here we can simply select that if permissions of camera is true then you need to then you need to capture image so we can say that uh, uh, we can add a snack bar or we can simply uh, add a camera okay or we can simply upload image or do any kind of thing so you can do other things as well uh, upon the, this specific operation so let's suppose that we want to uh, show the snack bar show snack bar now you can capture and it's capturing image okay so let's suppose uh, when the access is allowed so it's, uh, it's capture your image and this is your basically a capture capturing okay so if it deny so you can say that you will not capture image you will not be able be able to capture image okay and this is error message so we can show an error background and within that background we are going to show alternate color or maybe a black color and uh, this thing here we are going to show success color and primary color not a primary but a white color okay so th that's how we can simply uh, create our uh, permissions so firstly we need uh, it will ask user to give an access then when the user give an permission to access their camera then you can capture the image okay it's a best practice to use in the application if there is a question in your mind uh, if we don't use this permission so should we not be able to uh, should we not be able to uh, capture the image or record a video or record a uh, audio so it's uh, so no it's not possible uh, if you not give the permission so you st will still be able to capture the image and you will still be able to record a uh, audio and video but it's better approach to request the permission first so basically it's just like a uh, ethical way okay so if you want to uh, if you if you want to take and take anything from anyone so you need you need to ask for permission because it's a better thing if you don't ask a permission and take it then it's uh, obviously it will also work but it's not a good thing you can you cannot uh, you cannot take anything from anyone without his permission so it's better to ask for permission first so you need to request a per request for permission and then uh, you need to capture the image otherwise you can say that uh, permissions denied or you can say that you will not be able to capture image okay so yeah, that's how you can manage these things in the upcoming video i'll be also showing you how we can capture the image using camera and how we can uh, pick the images from the gallery that's a separate topic in this video uh, our main uh, main main motive is to cover how we can uh, grant permissions and how we can request for permissions okay so let's duplicate this thing and for this this time you're gonna say record audio okay and we are gonna add an item spacing of 20 that's fine and now 
you can see that uh, we have two per two buttons and here we can change the permission so let's suppose we want uh, okay we don't have an audio so let's suppose we'll, uh, track location maybe we are gonna say track location okay so when the user click on this button so we can accept request for permission for location and when this permission is allowed so you can say that now you can you can see maps now you can see your location or live location okay otherwise denied okay otherwise also you can also add custom permissions uh, let's suppose if you want to access uh, any if you want to ask permission for any other service let's suppose you want a permission for a wi-fi or an internet device so you can also add permissions here uh, for that reason you need to you need to search uh, the permission message from the google because uh, because ev every permission flutter, flutter, flutter contains every permission separate key okay so if you want an ios permission message so you need to go and search to the google uh, that uh, wi-fi permission let's suppose i'm gonna search so yeah we can search internet so do we have internet permission message here okay no we don't have internet here so let's suppose we want to add an internet uh, so we can say that so let's see okay so here you can see that this is this protocol is basically uh, for the permission so we can simply pick this protocol message okay and we need to go back and paste it here and here we can for the android one what we need to do we need to also pick for android so we can say that yeah here you can see permission internet so you can simply pick internet here and drop it here so this is android and this is ios and here we can say that uh, allow access to your uh, internet service B I C S, okay and then you need to click on submit and now the permission is custom permission is created you can also add more per permissions if you want okay so the app is now running and let's see uh, if it asks for permission or not <coughs> so when you click on this button so you can see that you will not be able to capture an image because the permission is not granted okay so i am in a basically i am in a test mode so it's uh, basically uh, working because uh, it asking for permission so for that reason you need to go to your yeah, here you can also see it's also denied you need to go to your physical device and when you click on it so it will be uh, pop uh, it will be allowing you to see on your uh, mobile device so okay so now you can see that it's running in my ios simulator the same application which i have created so this page so let's click on capture so you can see that it's now uh, asking for permission and if you allow then it will throw a message now you can capture image capturing image and if i click on track location so it will all again ask for a location access and if i say don't allow so it will throw a message deny and if i click again so it's not allowing me to do this thing so, that, so that's how you can simply uh, add permissions and if you if you got any error and if you got any error uh, any issue into your permission setup so you can pl please drop a message into the comment section and i just thought to share you uh, about this uh, this panel uh, permission panel which is this so yeah you can simply enable that permission but and also keep in mind one more thing in the previous video i have also talked about multilingualization or localization so if you uh, if you add these permissions here so must visit if you add permissions so must visit languages as well because now in your ios permission messages you have certain permissions okay so you also need to add permissions in other languages but because i have a paid plan for flutterflow so i can simply click on translate all and translate and it will translate all of the languages for me as well okay here you can see that in arabic it also added and the other other variant it also added the permissions and you can also see other things okay so that's how you can uh, manage your uh, permissions uh, within the application because it's the better way thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video